Well, well, well. What a week it's been for us modelers. <laughs> Don't worry, it's <laughs> not proper glasses. Um, yeah, I, I thought, Jane Oak, I better choose this day for her return to YouTube. Um, with all the stories coming out this week, it's like um, the biggest one for me, no more Wally. But um, I do, I have loved that show, but I, I do understand, you know, I've read the statements, I understand what the guys are saying. Um, I thought that might as well be <laughs> too. Um, oh God, it's all going wrong now. Uh, yeah, so anyway, um, back to the block. Yeah, I, I understand what they're saying, you know. It, it's become massive, hasn't it? You know, it has been a big show. And yeah, I know, you know, we feel a bit sad and perhaps sentimental about it. However, there are lots of model shows still out there, guys. And sometimes don't you find the smaller shows are that much more nicer and more intimate and you know you, you can get to talk to lots of people and if you're having various issues or things and whatever you know you, you can really form a bond and perhaps even become part of the society yourself so so for me yes it's sad but then at the same time it gives us all the reason and it gives us all the opportunity to get out there and discover other shows perhaps smaller shows or shows you wouldn't perhaps have thought about going to um, there's lots of great ones there, so we just need to let's go to a different show. We've got to more shows. That's the answer. Um, <laughs> so that, yeah, that's my take on Wally. I am getting a lot of um, messages on Insta saying, oh, "What do you think about that?" But yeah, it's sad, but at the same time, like I say, it's an opportunity, isn't it? So, um, in fact, I saw a great, a great quote. I think it was, of course, Pete Waterman. Who else? And he was like, the king is dead, long live the king. And that is so true. Unfortunately, life changes, everything changes, you know, no matter what it is. Um, we know, we, we change our layouts. Nothing ever stays the same. Nothing can stay the same. I think that's just part of life. So it's how you adapt and then just move with it. So, so yeah, good on your Pete for that statement. Um, the other one which has got people talking is, of course, Hattons. Um, might be controversial here and say, I've never actually bought anything of Hattons, so it was a bit like, oh yeah, okay, they're closing. But I don't actually think, again, might be wrong, might stand to be corrected here. I don't think it's a money thing. So it's not like people saying, oh, you know, the hobby's suffering or it's cost of living. I get the impression and from looking at various things, obviously maybe to the accountant in me, I don't think it was a money thing. I think it's probably just a personal business decision. So so I feel sorry for the staff that work for them, definitely. Um, but it'd be interesting to see because um, I obviously observe, you know, more the financial side of what people get up to, <laughs> just nature of the beast. And I did notice they bought an American company, I think it was September last year, and they closed the shop, sent it online. Um, now I haven't seen that that's closed yet in America, so whether they just perhaps pulling out the UK and just want to concentrate on that American sideline, or whether that is going with it. but. If you go on the websites and everything like that, they're not saying that they're shutting, so there you go. There's a lot of people not aware of that, so so yeah, it's not doom and gloom for the model industry, not at all. Um, yes, Hornby, their announcement, nothing that floated my boat, maybe Mayflower, but until I travel on her, not buying that. <laughs> so, so yeah, I think, you know, we've, we've all got to be positive and just think. I, I actually think the model industry is in a great place. You go places like, um, you know, when I went to Chester in the summer, um, making tracks, the amount of children and young adults that are so interested and, you know, buying, they've saved their money from birthdays or they're buying um, stuff from Chester Model Centre, there's a perfect example of a great model shop. And it, the hobby's very much alive and well, in my opinion, you know. You're always going to get changes, you're always going to get things altering, it's just life no matter what it is but i actually think it's in a great place the model from what i see the model industry i have not been in a model shop yet that's been dead with nobody in there so in fact some when i mean it's when i went to loco shed in november you had to wait your turn to speak to them you know and by that i mean like 10 people deep turn you know so i i, I don't know i i think it's easy to get caught up in headlines no matter what it's about or look at the negative but no and I think it's down to all of us, 
to make sure it succeeds and I think I think we do I think we do a fabulous job I mean you go to model shows like I say you know we've all moaned about oh <laughs> being hit by a backpack or a rucksack yeah because those people have bought loads of stuff and wedged it all in their little turtle shells on their back so no it's good I think so anyway enough of that but I've had a lot of people saying to you oh, what do you think about this what do you think about that and you know so that's my take on it um so what was <laughs> where was I even going with that I don't even know so yeah anyway um being busy as ever as those who follow me on Insta know um chasing the real things again um Christmas to New Year the start of New Year obviously my fives at the North Yorkshire Moors that was a, a great break um, came back and of course Sam Valley decided, oh, let's host a winter gala, I couldn't miss that, so <laughs> was that. Uh, so yeah, this weekend, next weekend, I am hoping to get in here. I don't know, I've been threatening it a long time, but I thought the time was right, yeah. Let's just settle down the, <laughs> you know, the model kind of rumours and everything like that, and let's just all get going and get start the new year right and get modelling. So I have come back from the North Yorkshire Moors with a couple of diesels. <laughs> Struggling to say it, but but shunters. Now, for a few of you who know me, I've, <laughs> I've got a little kind of giggly fascination with them. I like to say shunters quite a lot when I see one. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But I needed a couple because um, obviously... No Yorkshire Moors have got some for, you know, dragging and all these steamers about and that. So I needed a couple of those. Excuse my voice as well. <clears throat> I, I really didn't want to have to film today, if I'm honest, because I've been struggling with a little bug all week. Um, quite a dangerous bug, actually. Um, it is well known worldwide as, I think, man flu. Um, but being a woman, it's tried to attack me and it hasn't quite succeeded. So it's just like a little kind of quirky thing, which... Um, I had one just before Christmas though, but I was like, what? Not again, but it's, don't worry, it's, you know, it's going. But so is my voice a little bit. <laughs> it always does, I always go straight to my voice. Probably I do too much talking, I don't know. But anyway, so yes, I picked up a couple of gronks, but only one is actually right for North Yorkshire Moors. Um, or will be right, sort of thing. The other one I couldn't quite resist because I've got a little fascination with a shanta, which they have at Dipcot. Um, and those who've been will know it well, probably. It's called Phantom, <laughs> which I love that as well. So I've actually got Dipcot's Phantom. Thank you to TMC, another great model shop. You know, there's lots still about. So yes, one shirts, but look at the fabulous ones you've got i mean test the model center you know i love that place you go in there a day to come out about spending something tmc another great model shop you know if they haven't got it they'll get it for you so you know there's carlisle easily you name it there's there's a great model shop so the secret is use them and that's what keeps them going so anyway i i digress again so yes um, so the Phantom, so it's sat, I've put him on the track here, so I'm going to show you that and I'll show you the other one I picked up, which David, she didn't let me down in Gromont. Yeah, he got my other little gronk, my NYMR gronk for me, so I'll show you those. Um, possibly not tonight, because I think I'm pushing it a little bit, but I think tomorrow, um, I know some of you call out for it. How about a gronk running session? We could have Phantom versus the the NYMR Shanda. <laughs> so we'll get that going tomorrow. Nothing at all has happened in here. The trees are still in their boxes there, as you'll see. So when I, I'll, I'll do a little still film in a moment of those. And, oh God, yeah, time's ticking on. So I'm just looking how long-winded this is. Are you all still awake? I'm gonna retrieve my uh, magazine, my joke glasses, and show you the gronks, and then that'll be it for today. So come on, guys. Get to those model shops, get to those little local shows, and there's still plenty of big shows. Don't forget NEC April, and you'll see the wonderful Mr. Waterman and the Making Track team. So, there's lots to be positive about, so let's get out there and get modelling. But first, Gronks or Shantas. Best of all, here we go. There is Phantom. Absolutely beautiful. You see, I do, you know how I'm always like with weathering? Well, 
I love weathering on diesels. I don't like unweathered diesels. I like my, oh, hello. I like me steam, pristine. But I like my diesels dirty. <laughs> so there is Phantom. Actually, I'm a bit too close. I don't know if you can see the wording there. It's probably getting blurry, is it? Is that holding it? And then just the grass. There we go. That's the one that's going to be NYMR. Dave did say, he said, guys, it's hard to get. He said, all oh, green. Everyone wants green. Why don't you want green? Because I want blue and black. <laughs> because that's what NYMR have got. Do they have a green chandelier? I don't think so. So, yeah. So that's the one that's going to be renumbered. And there's the Phantom. In fact, just a little quickie just before I go. Um, you remember the local shares and I've taken fives there. Um, that's still work in progress. Obviously, they always said it wasn't even going to get looked at this side of Christmas. So, you know, it's going to be, um, they, they've kind of said it hopefully the end of this month comes to the painter. So, yeah, that will be something. I'm thinking it's going to be February. So, um, hopefully I'll get those back and then I will show you those in February and we'll see what the least brown Eric is like. So, Exciting things, good things come to those that wait, that's what they say, so. <laughs> so I'll be back February and I'll show you those. For now, good night and we'll get those grunts shunting tomorrow. <laughs>